you know, one of the things that um, Martin Luther King said, which always affected me, was that of all of the inequalities in the world, inequalities in access to healthcare are the most egregious and inhumane. I think that there are, um, there's so much that is available to people who who, who live in the developed world. Um, so many different kinds of standards and so much that's available that to have half of humanity living in an entirely different standard of healthcare um, just feels as though it's, it's not right. I wanted to get across to the Albright fellows today um, a number of things. And one of those things um, is particularly to challenge assumptions. I think it's uh, really important to um, challenge what people think are norms and standards um, and to make sure that you actually can um, lift barriers, um, take advantage of your opportunity um, and know what it is that you can do if you set your mind to it. So it can be um, relatively small problems, it can be grand problems. Um, that, that, that To know that you can actually do that is a very key part of it. Um, the other thing I wanted to get across to the Albright Fellows is that um, all, all things that are done um, are complicated, that you should take a very long view to these things. And I think it's hard sometimes while you're in the middle um, of, your, of your college education to know how much, how much time there is ahead of you and, uh, and that you don't have to do it all at once that actually uh, the benefit of hindsight um, has, been, uh, has been a luxury for me and for my colleagues and to be able to look back and say, take the time you need to do things. Make sure that you create enough space to, to, to think and to be imaginative. Um, don't feel like you have to be busy all of the time. Um, the, the problems that are out there, and they don't just have to be in global health, any of the enormously complex problems around the world, um, take some time to. To, to think about, to, to solve, and don't think you can do it in a day, a year, or even a decade. I am an optimist by nature, so I'm, I feel optimistic about, um, about what can be done in the world and, uh, uh, and, and what, what the situation is now, but also how it can be changed, partly because I've seen the change that has taken place um, in uh, really difficult and complex settings. And I know that when people set their minds to doing something and they really do want to address the problems, it can be addressed, they can be changed. Um, and it just involves an awful lot of different things. It doesn't just involve um, making sure that, uh, that, that, that a website works. It obviously involves so many different, different things all coming together. And again, it goes back to the long view. These things take time and you have to make sure that people who really want to do this um, actually have the tools they need to do it. So it's hard not to be an optimist. How can, you, how can you not be an optimist if you've seen what's happened in anything? Pick HIV treatment, for example. To see the landscape shifting to that extent over many years is, uh, leaves one feeling as though there's enormous hope for all kinds of other things. If I could tell the Albright Fellows to take, uh, to take one specific thing away from what, what I've said today, I think it's to challenge assumptions. It's to, it's to not take no for an answer. It's to make sure that you keep your eyes on the prize, whatever that prize is, and, um, and, and, and get to it. And that means doing all sorts of things and using your influence, using your education, using your background, and, and, and making sure that it happens. But if somebody says to you it can't be done, make sure that you ask yourself why it can't be done.